Hi, this is uh, Captain Ron. Welcome back. Uh, today I'd like to explain the systems on the uh, Auto Gyro MTO Sport, the Calidus, and the Cavalon. All these systems are basically the same. And we're going to start out with the pre rotation system. And uh, this is the most complex part of the pre rotation system. This is a right angle gearbox and it's a reduction gearbox and then you have a rubber coupling and in this clutch is located on this end of the engine and it has a universal joint with a spline that goes up in the continuation of this up to the rotor head so the operation of this it's just like a, a standard shift clutch in an automobile. You have the part that continues to rotate with the engine. Then you have a non-metallic non -metallic part that, that's the clutch. And there's a small air cylinder here. This is the line to the air cylinder. And the air cylinder creates pressure and pushes these to the rotor here together with this clutch material and then that starts your engagement of the gearbox. Okay, now we talked about the, the gearbox and the clutch, and let's continue a, a continuation of the system is the, is, another, is the drive shaft with another universal joint, and this is a spline. This, this allows movement of the cyclic going forward and aft, and it goes up to another universal joint. Okay, and you also have a small little finger air cylinder here. And by the way, this system is totally pneumatic. So, uh, and once you're in the pre-rotation mode, as soon as you, and I'll explain the, the buttons on the joystick uh, after this, but you press the pre-rotator engagement button and the cyclic is all the way forward by design and it's a, it's a time system. The first thing that occurs when you press the pre-rotator button on the joystick is this little air cylinder here pushes the Bendix up into the ring gear. That's the first thing that has to happen. So now the two gears are engaged. In the second mode, while you still have the button pressed on the pre-rotator, is the air cylinder on that clutch device that I explained earlier, that pulsates. It doesn't completely engage. It pulsates for a reason to get all this rotor blade inertia up to speed. It's almost like when you're in your automobile, your standard shift, and you want to, you put it in first gear, you want to engage the clutch. You have to do it slowly with a little engine RPM, otherwise you'll stall the engine in the automobile. Same way here. If you don't have a little throttle on the RPM in the engine and you engage it too quick, it's going to stall the engine. So this is a built in the design to pulsate the pre-rotator to get the inertia of the rotor blades up to speed. And then after that happens, then the air cylinder completely pressurizes and totally engages the clutch. And then you get 100% pre-rotation at that point. Okay, let's talk about the uh, pre-rotation controls. Uh, there's a, a thumb button on the, on the joystick. You can either use your thumb or use your finger. Uh, and then you would have to switch the selector switch into flight at that point. In fact, I have a, a checklist for that. On your takeoff procedure, you, you uh, position on center line the runway, whole wheel brakes, Whole cyclic full forward. That's a must. There's a there's a micro switch involved in the cyclic control. So if you were to move the cyclic rearward during your pre-rotation, that would disengage your pre-rotator. And the reason for that is those little universal joints do not work at a at a large angle of movement. So they more or less have to be straight in line. Okay. Now once we do that. Uh, you select the switch to flight. You have a brake and a flight. So we go to flight. 
once we go to flight then remember I said you have to have a little bit of engine RPM otherwise you would it would drag the engine down the torque of spinning the blades would would stall the engine so we have a green line here on the engine RPM that's approximately 2000 RPM now at that point you would press the pre-rotator button here and hold it now as you do that you'll notice the engine RPM will it'll drag the engine RPM down a little bit but allow that to happen because if you continue to give it throttle to maintain the 2000 it puts a lot of undue stress on the whole system so let the pre-rotator drag the engine down a little bit and eventually the rotor RPM will, will level off at about 100 RPM and the engine will come back to 2000 RPM and at this point still holding the pre-rotator button you would gradually increase the throttle in small increments to allow the rotor blades to spin up and spin up and spin up until you reach the 200, 225 uh, yellow mark position on the rotor. And at that point, you release the button, stick back, and add throttle. All right, we did the static demonstration of the uh, pre-rotation system. Now we're going to actually go through the pre-rotation system. And just, just for demonstration purposes, we're on the ramp. So, but normally, uh, I'll read the checklist and just... Uh, we're on the center line of the runway, for instance, and we're going through the checklist for the takeoff procedure. So it says position on center line of the runway, hold wheel brakes, hold the cyclic full forward and centered position. And now we, we select the switch to flight, from brake to flight. Okay, now the engine RPM, uh, the green line is about 2,000 RPM. Now remember, uh, when the pneumatic system is engaged in this clutch to get all this inertia of the rotor blade spinning you have to have a little engine RPM okay so we start out at, at the green line okay at this point now we're going to press and hold the pre-rotation bu pre button either with your thumb or your finger now I won't give it any more throttle and the system is pulsating. It's dragging the engine RPM down. Just let it do that. You don't want to keep adding power. It puts undue stress on the system. Okay. Now let everything come up to speed. We haven't touched the throttle. It's back up to about 2,000. The rotor blades are, what, uh, 100 RPM. Okay. At this point, now you would slowly increase the throttle in small increments. We won't do that, but you would continue to in engage the throttle forward little by little you're still at a standstill you're still pre-rotating until you get to the yellow line which is approximately 225 rpm and at that point you release the pre-rotator button the count of three the cyclic should be in the full aft position and then you would continue your takeoff at that moment 